A family mourning the death of their seven-week-old daughter have hit out at a cot manufacturer after it tried to blame their other daughter for the death. Grace Roseman died after getting her head stuck on the side of a bed nest cot. But the firm's lawyers suggested her toddler sister could have been responsible. The Roseman family said they've received no personal apology for the claims. Olivia Kinsley spoke to Grace's father. She, she was getting to the stage in, in the weeks leading up to her death where she was starting to interact more with me. Um, and, um, you know, she was starting to smile. One of the main pictures in the press uh, where, you know, I'm sort of holding her and making her laugh. Grace Roseman died when she was seven weeks old. Waking in her cot, she'd moved her neck onto the half-raised side panel. The pressure stopped her breathing. My wife's gone back into the bedroom and she started screaming. It was an unbelievably awful scream and she started shouting, Grace is dead, Grace is dead. Gideon says his family's pain has been compounded by accusations from lawyers for the cot's manufacturer's bed nest that their other daughter, Pearl, then two and a half, may somehow have been involved. They were saying, based on their expert, their expert, um, that because Grace couldn't get into their position where Esther found her, Pearl must have gone in there, tried to somehow lift her out. My wife was lost a baby, and now she's effectively having to defend Pearl at the same time. At the inquest last month, the coroner said there was no evidence that Pearl had been involved. Bednest have now stopped making the half-folding cots like this one. And on their website, there is now a warning that the old cots pose a risk of death. The company told us they have taken on board all of the coroner's comments and apologise unreservedly for the distress caused to the Roseman family. Grace died on the 9th of April 2015. Gideon's certain his daughter Pearl played no part in what happened to Grace. This is not my family's fault, it's certainly not Pearl's fault, and it certainly isn't my wife's fault. He needs this to be publicly recognised to help heal their still terrible anguish. Olivia Kinsley, Five News.